Hey everybody and welcome to State of Charge where we do videos on solar power, web technology, and life stories. So glad that you joined us today. Today is going to be an update on the Solar Sheds air conditioner. Now tomorrow it's supposed to be 115 degrees here in Phoenix and so I want to give you an update on just how it's been performing, what I've been experiencing, and what I need to do moving forward with the AC here in the solar shed when it comes to the hot summer temperatures here in Phoenix. So if this is something that you're interested in, stay tuned, we're gonna get right into it. Welcome to the channel where we talk about solar power, web technology, and life stories. If these are interesting topics to you, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we have new videos. So again, thanks for joining us, and we hope that you enjoy the video. So check this out, guys. Right now, it is almost six o'clock in the evening. It is 112 degrees outside. Inside the shed, as you can see right there, it's 81 degrees. Now I come over here, and I have the, the air conditioner set to 65 and it's not able to keep up. And so when it is this hot outside, trying to run on solar, it does max out the system. And I'll show you what that looks like here with my graphs and my charts from the VRM portal next. Okay, seriously, you guys, I have to put these ice packs on a pillow underneath my laptop to try to do this video because it's so freaking hot outside that if I try running my laptop, the fans turn on and it's so loud, I can't even do the video. So we're gonna try this and see if it works. <laughs> Stay tuned, this is gonna be fun. So as you can see here, we are at 25.9 volts. Now that blinking arrow on the right shows that we're powering the batteries and the AC off of the DC power off of the batteries and the solar. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and we're gonna put it in fast motion and I'm gonna show you where it clicks over. I have the automatic transfer switch set to click over at 25.5 volts. So let's see what happens. All right, so we're at 25.5 volts. So this should be clicking over, oh, 25.4. So this, oh, there it went, right there. As you can see the arrow moved from the right hand side to the left hand side and now the ac is being powered off of grid power and that's right at around six o'clock to 6 30 in the evening really depending upon temperature and really depending upon how much sunshine um, i have in the area right, let's take a look here at my ambient weather station here and right now at about 6 35 p.m as we can see right here it is 110 degrees outside if we scroll down the temperature inside the shed is 79 so we're a good 30 degrees difference from the outside ambient temperature to the indoor ambient temperature so that's actually pretty good now we can see here that the high temperature for the year, this was actually yesterday, was 114.6 degrees. So pretty, pretty incredible. Let's look at the actual graph. As we can see right around here at 4.55 a.m. this morning, it was the coolest of the day and it was 83.1 degrees. As we come back over here, the height of the day, 113.7, and that was at 435 degrees. So let's scroll down here and let's look at the temperature inside. 
the indoor temperature at around the same time, you can see this really fluctuates. And this is because this is when the AC kicks on because it's at a high temperature. And this right here, this low point is where the air conditioner kicks off because it's at the low point. I keep it about 80 degrees and you can see that fluctuates throughout the day. And as the day goes on, that temperature becomes higher and higher and the frequency in which it turns on and off becomes less and less because it's trying to keep up with that 80 degree. Now you can see here that it's a little bit hard for it to do that. Here at, let's see, 1250, it was 84 degrees. And so that is just what is happening with this. Now I came in here to turn the air down right about here so that I could do this video so that I wasn't suffocating to death while I'm in here doing this video for you. So that is the ambient temperature readings. Um, so let's go to the VRM portal. Now the information that you see here is very, very interesting. I really like to look at this battery state of charge graph because here I can see, now this when I'm starting right here on the left hand side, it's at about midnight, right? Very, very gradually as this comes down, it comes down, it comes down. And then right about here at seven o'clock in the morning, you see that going up. And we have a very gradual uptick all the way until we get to right about here, which is 1230 in the afternoon. And then we see this jugular here, this up and down, and that's the AC kicking on, kicking off, kicking on, kicking off, which we saw in the ambient temperature graph. And this gradually goes down and goes down and goes down until we get to right about here. And this is right at six o'clock and then it levels off again. Now that's where the automatic transfer switch kicks on. And, he, and here is where it kicks off. So really, when it's 115 degrees outside, I get this much time for my system, my AC system here, running completely on solar. So about six hours on average every day, keeping it at about 80 degrees, my shed is able to accumulate solar power for about six hours, right? And so the rest of the time, this system here, so from midnight all the way to 12, and then all the way again at six on, is the automatic transfer switch running the AC off of grid. And so that's what's happening. Now, as we look at this chart over here, again, what's pretty even right all the way from here pretty even pretty even pretty even that's because the system here is not running off of solar at least from the air conditioner standpoint this is all just my small electronics and things like that running off of the solar right here again at 12 30 we're seeing now we're kicking in to solar so this whole up and down system is the ac kicking on the ac kicking off the ac kicking on until we get right here at about six o'clock, the automatic transfer switch um, kicks on. It kind of levels off here because we still have a little bit of sunshine and then we're good for the rest of the night all the way to the morning and then it runs again. So this cycle is very typical. And again, as it ramps up here, we're looking at, let's, let's look at the um, PV yield. This is the solar yield that we're getting. Here my peak during the day was at 12:30. It was a 584 watts coming in. Now these these low points right here, that's when we get a little bit of a cloud cover and it just changes the intake a little bit, but you can see here that it's ramping up, ramping up, ramping up, ramping up and then boom, right here we start kicking in again, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down and then right here at six o'clock in the evening we're switching over to grid power so i am able to get about six hours of solar powered 
AC on my shed here, keeping it at about 80 degrees. So this is less than I was hoping it would be, but I'm actually pretty impressed. I mean, I'm staying at a 30 degree difference when it's 115 degrees outside and for six hours, really, one fourth of the day, it's completely running off of solar. Now, the way to combat that would be just to get some more panels and uh, get some more batteries and some things like that. So I could theoretically, in 115 degrees, power this entire shed off of solar. But because it's not my dwelling, it's not where I live, it's not where I hang out 24 seven, it's not where I sleep, it's not really needed, right? I wanna keep it at about 80, 85 degrees so that the equipment that I have in here is staying healthy and has a lot longer lifespan. And so, hey, that is the update on my solar shed when it is 115 degrees outside. If you ask me, I think it's pretty incredible that I get to run AC in my shed during the on peak hours of the day, completely off of green energy from the sun. So, well, it's been about three hours since we started the video and now at almost nine o'clock, it's still 102 degrees outside. It's 71 degrees inside the shed and I'm maintaining about a 30 degree difference throughout the day. And so I think that's pretty impressive. I turned the AC off right now so that it wouldn't be loud as I'm doing the video, but you can see it there and super impressed with everything uh, that we're seeing with uh, the AC here in, in the shed. Uh, so I'm super excited to have shared this video with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned some things. And most importantly, yes, you can do AC with solar even in 115 degrees uh, during the hot summer here in Arizona. So be safe. We'll catch you next time around. And I have one question for you. What is your state of charge?